Welcome friends, it's Razorblade. Thank you for coming to my channel and welcome to my ninth review in my 30 and 30 series. 30 quick and dirty hauls and reviews in 30 days. And my ninth today and I am sorry I actually got rid of the packaging already. It was um, a bit too bulky in the bag. We've got uh, CC and Sissy, a brand that is the only successful producer of that I know of, of acrylic plates that are of true quality and can be cleaned with uh, acetone cleaning products without being worn over by time. Um, I have some of the cheaper ones from AliExpress and after a while uh, the, the stamp has changed. Now it did take some time, but um, these have main, my my uh, CC and Sissy plates have maintained their their quality and structure over the time that I've had them. Uh, they're also a very beautiful and creative plate. They always have really lovely backs. Look at that, and great stamps on the front. So we've got. Um, Stories and fables for this series. It says discover the beauty within. It had these two plates in it. This one is the uh, fairy tales one with um, young Red Riding Hood. There we go. And to step, stamp these and test them, I really love this packaging. It's just so nice. Stamp these and test them. I am using my uh, turbo stamper from Be Love Plates. The, uh, that's what the stamper head is from. And it's just a junky old uh, back base from eBay. And I'm probably going to try our rectangular stamper a couple times. Now, the biggest stamp on these runs, it's a compound image. It runs about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Now, we know you're not going to stamp this total image on your nails, but it is a pretty cool image. And it's where I started testing the plate. So let me momentarily get, just for the moment, get rid of the Red Riding Hood one. And let's look at the size of a more representative Alice one. Okay, so we've got, okay, we've got three quarters of an inch there and almost an inch, more like seven-eighths of an inch there. All right, here's her little pinafore. Not quite half an inch. So half an inch. All right. Oh, I love this one. We are all mad here. All right, so let me grab this. Looks like I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. Not a lot of room today. Feeling the lack of room. I don't usually work with my clipboard on my desk space. Oh, looks like I let the polish dry. It reminds me that I'm just stamping in black for you today and that is really kind of boring. I'm sure. So let me get, we're just going to do five or so stamps of each plate and then I am going to let you go. But I, I do want you to see that they work, see that they're lovely and Now, okay, so this is really annoying because the first time I stamped this, I stamped this, uh, I tried to film this before, and this stamped great. So I'm 
really a little confused why this isn't working. Oh, you know what? Let's try that. Sometimes things really do need to be on a flat surface if they're going to be stamped. Well, it's not, this particular stamp isn't working right now. It has worked in the past. I don't know what's going on with it. So let's see if this one is working today. Because this one has worked in the past too when I tried to film before. Okay, well that one's working just fine. The pinafore worked. Let's see, let's get the stamps of the playing cards. Speaking of videos I tried to film before, I tried to film this video this morning and we have all met Nina. I had her jump up and knock the camera actually off of the stand this morning, so. We didn't get a successful take, but here I am with you all now and it's stamping fine except for the spade. You know, something's going to go wrong. Just not exactly what. Let's get a cute little stamp of Alice as our last stamp for this plate. And then I'm going to do a really quick once over for you again. Now see, it's I, I don't know what's going on. Let me get another another stamper here. If in doubt, try another stamper. If still in doubt, doubt, try another polish. That's our that's our rule of thumb. Well, that stamp's great. That's a Winstonia one, guys. I'm pretty sure that uh, this one I got on eBay, though. Because I get most of what I get on eBay and AliExpress. I am all about saving the money. Now, these particular... Here we go. These particular plates... <laughs> I stopped to show you the stamp. And that was enough time for that polish to dry on the stamp pad. So keep in mind, guys, stamp quickly or don't stamp at all. It's a great motto, right? Or just beat me being pithy. So let me get this cleaned off so I can show you the plate. And then I will move on to Red Riding Hood. Now I got these on Amazon and they are also available on AliExpress. So we slowly move up and down. These are just fabulous plates. I can't wait to do a mini with these. See down here we've got some full nail images and then individual stamps mostly up here. All right, so there's that one. Let's try a look-see at the Red Riding Hood plate. I'm going to try a look-see first. Dry it down. We've got a layered stamping here. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. I love it when they include layered stamping on their plates. They've been doing that a lot more lately, the CC and Sissy, and it's just working out so well. So first they cracked the formula on the beautiful acrylic plates and then they cracked the, and then they not cracked the formula and then they added layering to it. They've just, they're really doing well. CC and Sissy is making me very happy as a customer. All right, so first things first, Now 
Now, I did, um, what's the word? I stamped too deep. I mean, I scraped too deep on these layering stamps with a little bit of space to them. Let me show you what you want to do. You want to keep your scraper at a low angle. We're talking like 20 degrees or lower. We're going to scrape very lightly. See how different that is? See how there's you. I didn't screw up the center there. That's the key to those stamps with a little bit of space to them. Now I'm going to do the top of this one. Now I am an idiot because I didn't use a clear jelly stamper for that, but I can try it again on a different layered stamp. I'm not going to try again on that one. So how is everybody's St. Patrick's Day weekend? Tell me how your weekend is going. Tell me how you are. Tell me if you have any questions or comments. And while I am chatting with you, it would be awesome if you would subscribe to my channel. See, this this one just isn't liking. See, it's just not just liking these plates. Or every now and then, you, you'll have a clear jelly stamper that will be stamping just fabulously. And then all of a sudden, for no reason, it'll stop. And you'll have to prime it again with uh, the magic eraser trick. Um, you'll find that on YouTube. Some other people have filmed an explanation of it. Um, it has worked for me like a charm. Anyway. In fact, I might have used it on this particular one already because it's a little bit cloudy. I can still see through it. See? It doesn't ruin the stamp, but it makes it just a little bit cloudy. Anyway. Let's get a couple of these stamps, a couple more of these stamps done, and then we will say goodbye. Anyway, while we're chatting, um, while I continue this series, if you want to make sure that you see all of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. It'll tell you when I release a new video. Yes, Miss Nina. Do you want to mess this video up too? No, I don't want you to either. Let's just stay off the table today, shall we? That would be nice. Yes, it would be very nice. Thank you for being nice to me. All right. So one more try at a layered stamp for us today. And this will probably do it for us. I'm trying to keep this video not ridiculously long. I did it again. I scraped the center out of the cookie. And so I'm going to put that today. Scrape the center out of the cookie. Officially a faux pas. Nobody likes the Oreo after you scrape the center out of it, Reza. All right. So we left the center in the cookie. Now let's actually use a clear jelly stamper to stamp the wolf, shall we? Okay. Okay, Reza, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you, Reza, for being cooperative today. No problem, Reza. Problem, Reza. <laughs> I swear. Sometimes and there's quite a bit of humidity today right now outside. Sometimes, whether it's the humidity factor or something, it's just not a day for stamping. And I say, I'm going to stamp today. There's no reason for you, fate, to deter me. And then fate sometimes says, no, no. You shall not stamp. You shall be frustrated. But I know this is a good plate. And I know
<laughs> See, we're going to finish this up with victory. We're going to finish this up with victory. Not only is it a good plate, but we have a success at that layered stamp. Isn't that fun? Anyway, these are great plates. They're a lot of fun. Cece and Sissy's fairy tale series. Take a look. This plate, the um, Red Riding Hood plate, is CR1-8004, available on Amazon and on AliExpress. And Fairy Tales CR-18003. They do ship free and quick by Prime. So that if you have Prime, there's really no reason to, to get them by AliExpress. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow for my next 30 and 30 uh, entry. And uh, you guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, and comment. Have a good one. Bye.